What's up everybody? Welcome to the Stocks Channel. My name is Corey and today we did have another very volatile sell off in the market and today was the end of quad witching. Is the market rolling over and going through a full blown stock market correction? First up, let's take a look at the S&P 500 SPY ETF. So let's crack open this chart and see what's going on in the stock market today. All right, and because it's Friday, we will check in on the bank account, which we can see was down today. For the week, we're also down 1.38%. And on the one month, we're still up 1.92%. And three months performance, we're still up 6.24%. Remember, even though this is the three month performance, this account did not start trading until July 8th of 2021. Now the bank system is still doing very well for the year, currently up 34.34% and decisively beating the triple Qs and the SPY ETFs. Now the one thing I want you to know is if you point your eyes to the right side of your screen, you can see that in 2008 during the bear market, the bank system outperformed the indices significantly. So even if this stock market is rolling over and going through a deeper stock market correction, the bank system is still going to do very well. So volatile markets are a great time to try out bank trade alerts if you haven't already. And don't forget, I am running a 50% off promotion code for your first month. All right, so jumping back over to the SPY ETF, we can finally see that high volume selling and we're finally getting that elevator down. We were down 1.29% today and we did close below the 50 EMA. So this is definitely bearish looking price action. Remember that we lost the bull trend early in the week, so we no longer have the benefit of a bull trend and we did start to see that weaker price action. And now we're finally seeing price action closing below the 50 EMA. So it could be that we're about to see a full blown stock market correction. Remember I told you this was very likely just a dead cat bounce and we were gonna form a lower high. And now we can definitely see that was the case with the lower low that we're now forming on the daily chart. So we're sitting right here at the support level at 441. So it's still possible we're going to bounce off this level. But as you can see, the stock market is looking significantly weaker. And when you no longer have the bull trend, you need to be a lot more defensive and a lot more cautious. So this dead cat bounced and now we see the dead cat continuing the fall and we're back in this falling knife situation. And we definitely see a huge increase of volume. And when you see selling on increased volume, you need to be very cautious because big money could be exiting their positions. And this stock market has plenty of room to the downside. So don't fool yourselves thinking that the market can't go through a full blown correction. Stock market corrections are a very real thing. And I know a lot of you have not seen a full blown stock market correction, but I'm here to tell you they are real and stocks don't always just go up forever. So you need to be very cautious and you need to be very disciplined when you get into a market that's this choppy and this volatile. If we lose that support at 441, remember that it's very likely we're coming back down to close the gap at 435. So below 441, you need to look out below for that critical support right around 435.7. Now, if we get a bounce, we need to see the bulls breaking all the way back above 449. So there is a lot of room to the upside that the bulls need to make up to get this market out of the bearish trending. So your critical resistance is still way up there at 449 and your critical support is at 441. Below 441, you're looking for 435 and above 449, we're back on the bull and we're looking for brand new all time highs. So that's as simple as it needs to be right now. Anything else in between is just going to be volatility and chop. And I do want to give a shout out to you Stocks Channel Discord members out there who not only did not lose money during this volatile sell off, but I did see a lot of you were actually making money. So shout out to you and great job being disciplined and patient in this volatile market. Trading is all about discipline and it's all about patience. And to see you making money as a stock market is selling off is an absolute tribute to how much hard work you've been putting in. So shout out to all of you. Next up is the NASDAQ 100 triple Qs. And again, we see a very volatile sell off and we see a day that we're going down on the triple Qs over 1% on increasing volume. We blasted right through that support level at 375 and we officially did lose the full bull trend. So the triple Qs officially look like they're rolling over, which does mean we could see a full blown stock market correction. The Dow Jones lost the bull trend. The S&P 500 lost the bull trend. And now we see the triple Qs losing the bull trend. So we could now officially see a full blown stock market correction and we could really start to see a lot of downward moves in that elevator down. Remember the triple Q's have a lot of those big name tech stocks like the blue chips and Apple, Microsoft and Google. And if those stocks also start rolling over, you're definitely going to see that elevator down and you're going to see increasing high volume selling. So this is not the time to be messing around. And if we do close below 372, that will be another daily lower low and we're very likely coming down to close the gap at 368. So below 372, you're looking for the gap close at 368. 
and we need to break back above about 378 to 379 to see the triple Q's going back into a bull market. So those are your critical resistance and support levels in your line in the sand. Remember, we lost the bull trend, so you need to protect yourself to the downside, and the trend is your friend. Right now, if you look at the trend on a one hour chart, this is definitely a lower high, lower low situation. And remember that we needed to break above this neckline to get bullish, and we never did break above that neckline. So if you're staying objective and you're watching the price action, you knew to short the triple Q's today all the way down to this support level, and that was a very profitable trade. Remember, we needed to break above 378.5 to get to 382, and we never saw that price action. So if you're letting the price action do all the talking, you should be absolutely crushing this market because the price action at these levels is telling you everything you need to know. That's why I always tell you let the price action do the talking and everything else is absolutely noise and you need to block it out. In the Dow Jones, we were down 0.73% today and we see the Dow Jones closing below the 50 EMA for the seventh day in a row and we are selling off on increasing volume. We blasted right through that support level at 346 and the next critical support is at 344.8. Below that, it's very likely we're coming down to 341.7 and we need to break all the way back above about 352 on the Dow Jones to reverse the bearish trending. We could be going into a bear market in the Dow Jones and we have lower highs and lower lows and we're very close to having the full bear trend. So like I told you in the intro, this is not the time to be messing around. Stay objective, be disciplined, and be patient and follow the price action, which is currently telling us there could be plenty more downside. In the Russell 2000, we were up 0.13% today, and we do see the Russell 2000 holding onto that support level at 222. Remember, if we break below critical support at 219, you're looking for the gap close at 216, and that's still a very real possibility. Remember, these are all dead cat bounces until proven otherwise, so it's still possible we see price action getting rejected at resistance around 224, and then the Russell 2000 coming down to close that gap at 216. You need to break back above 224 on the Russell 2000 to start reversing the bearish trending. Otherwise, we're very likely coming to close that gap. Above 224, you have resistance at 227. And below 222, you have support at 219 and the gap close at 216. On the RK ETF, we were up almost 2.5% today, which does tell us there could be money flowing into the growth sector, which is finally going to be good news for the ARK ETF. We went up almost 2.5% on increasing volume, and we're back above that critical resistance level at 121 with ARK ETF closing 50 cents higher. So this could be great news for the growth sector, and this could be time to jump out of the big blue chip tech names and start going into the small cap growth sector and getting ready for a monster bull rally. This could be a very early warning sign that we're about to see a monster bull run in the growth sector, so don't ignore price action like this because this is a very bullish candle. The price action closed well above all the moving averages, and if we can start blasting through some of these resistance levels, we can start to get a bull market. Look for resistance at 123 and 125.6, and above that, we could be in a full-blown bull market. If we close back below 120, watch for that support level to hold up at 115.5, and below that, this is just a dead cat bouncing, and we're going to continue to head lower. So don't rule out the possibility this is a dead cat bounce. Let the price action do all the talking, and we need to see a decisive break above resistance to let us know it's not just a dead cat bouncing. On the VIX, we had a very volatile day, which we did expect from quad witching. If you were paying attention, you knew that we did have a full bull market in the VIX, and we were sitting right on top of support, so the odds were in the favor of this bounce. However, we did not see the VIX breaking out above resistance at 21, and we did not see a decisive breakout and close above 23, so it is still possible the VIX is going to get crushed from these levels and come all the way back down to the support trend line at 16. If you see the VIX breaking out above 21 and closing above 23, look out for that full-blown stock market correction. If you see the VIX getting crushed all the way back down below 18.2 and heading towards 16, you could be possibly looking for brand new all-time highs. So the VIX is very important to watch at these levels and it will be a very important indicator to tell you what's going on in the price action. On Bitcoin, we're currently down about 0.9% and we see Bitcoin still hanging around that support level right around 48,000 and we need to get a decisive break above that level to go back into a bull market. I'll make it very simple for you on Bitcoin. As long as we're trading above 43,000, Bitcoin is bullish. If we come back down to support at 37,000, that will be your critical support. And if we break below that, look for critical support at 30,000. If we can close above 48,000, that will be bullish. And if we can break out above 53,000, your next price target you want to watch is at 58,000. So watch all those critical levels and let the price action do all the talking. If Bitcoin stays above 43,000, you want to continue to accumulate and get ready for the next bull cycle. 
Below 37,000, be a lot more cautious because it could be going into a bear market. On Amazon stock, we were down about three quarter percent today and we see Amazon getting rejected at that resistance at 3,500. It's still possible Amazon is coming down for another leg lower. So look for potential support at 3,311 if we break below 3,400. If we break out above 3,500, we could very likely close this gap at 3,580, but we will need to break above resistance at 3,552. If we close the gap and keep running, look for resistance at 3,700 and 3,760. So downside critical support will be 3,425, 3,400, and 3,311. And we're very close to having the full bull trend as soon as that 20 simple moving average crosses back above the 50 EMA. So there will be a lot of strong support around 3,400. And that could be a great buying opportunity as long as that support level holds up. On Tesla stock, we were up 0.33% today and we do see Tesla stock still looking very bullish and we did get price action slightly closing above our resistance trend line and we're doing all this on increasing volume. So Tesla has that full bull trend and as long as it's above 732 with the full bull trend, it looks very bullish like it could break out. Above 765, look for the price target at 800 and as long as we're staying above support at 732, you want to buy the dip. We could come all the way as low as about 708 and still be bullish, but it definitely will look a lot more like Tesla is rolling over and getting ready to go through a correction if we break below 692. So right now it looks like Tesla is going to attempt to break out and have a quick trip up to $800. So look for that critical breakout above 765. Going higher on increasing volume is always a bullish indication. So don't ignore the price action because it is doing all the talking. And right now it's screaming that Tesla is bullish. On Apple stock, we had a huge red candle today, closing well below the 50 EMA and going down 1.83%. And we do have that final critical support level at 145 before we come back down to close the gap at 137. It does look like some of these big blue chip tech names could be going through a sell-off as we see money flowing into the growth sector. So if you see Apple losing support, don't be surprised to see it coming all the way back down to 137. We need to break back above 151 to start regaining the bull trend and we need to break out above 157 to get to 162. Remember, my price target was 157, so I don't think Apple needs to go any higher and we could be going through a correction as we speak. If Apple's going through a correction, it will put downward pressure on the rest of the stock market and we could see money flowing into other sectors like the growth sector. The financial sector was down about a half a percent today, closing right on top of the 50 EMA. Remember, if we close the gap below, that's a confirmed double top and we could be going much lower. The industrial sector was down over 1% today and we still see the industrial sector looking like it's going into a bear market. Once that 20 simple moving average crosses below the 50 EMA, that will be a confirmation of the bear market. The healthcare sector was up 0.1% today and we still see the healthcare sector holding above the 50 EMA as these Bollinger Bands expand. We have negative momentum which favors the bears and if we lose support at the 50 EMA, we could be going for another leg lower. The energy sector was down 0.74% today and closed right on top of the 50 EMA. And if we get a bounce from here, we could see a bull market yet again in the energy sector. Otherwise, look for support at the 20 simple moving average or a full blown breakdown and going into a bear market. So jump it back over the S&P 500. You need to be a lot more cautious in the stock market because it definitely looks like it's rolling over. We no longer have bull trends in any of the indices and the price action will do all the talking. If you lose critical support, look out below because we're going down for another leg lower. If we start bouncing from here, make sure you're not falling for a dead cat bounce and make sure you're not falling for a bull trap. You need to see the price action breaking above the critical levels I gave you, or it's just a bull trap before another leg lower. If you don't know the critical levels, rewatch the video and write them all down and make sure you're following the price action. I can't stress it enough that discipline and patience are how you navigate a volatile market. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're better off just doing nothing at all. Also, don't forget I do have my own trade alert service that absolutely crushes volatile markets called Bank Trade Alerts and it only trades T-Triple-Qs. I'm currently running a 50% off promotion code so now could be your best time to try out Bank Trade Alerts. If you're interested in joining or want to find out more details, click on the links in the description of the video. I also have the Stocks Channel Discord where I do intraday updates and analysis to help you navigate this market and stay on the right side of the trade. If you're interested in joining the Stocks Channel Trading Discord community, you can find out how to join by clicking on the link in the description of the video. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you're crushing this market. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.